Okay, I've got a hard topic for you. One that I'm sure will be controversial and that some of you might not even agree with. And part of me feels like I don't even have the right to ask this question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Here goes. If God wants everyone to be saved, why does it seem like God intentionally confuses some so that they will not be saved? The Bible ensures us that God does not wish that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But there are instances in the Bible where I'm a little confused on the issue. Now, I'm not talking about predestination or anything like that. Just take a look at these scriptures and let me know what you think. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 13 through 14, it says, This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not hear or understand. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You'll be ever hearing and never understanding. You'll be ever seeing but never perceiving. And in verse 34 it says, Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd in parables. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. Why speak in ways that listeners don't understand? In John 6 verse 65 it says, He went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled him. How and under what circumstances does the Father enable someone? and who are not enabled. In Isaiah 1, 6, 9 through 10, and it's also echoed in Matthew 13, 15, and Acts 28, verse 27, it says, He said, Go and tell this people, Be ever hearing, but never understanding. Be ever seeing, but never perceiving. Make the heart of this people callous. Make their ears dull and close their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. I know that God is sovereign. He made the world, He made us, and He can do whatever He wants. But why speak in riddles? Why intentionally be vague? Anyway, I hope you can clear up some of this confusion by answering this question of the day. Why do you think that the purpose of the parables was so that some might be hearing and never understanding? And why does the Father enable some to come to Him and not others? If you have a thought on the matter, I'd love to hear from you. You can email your response at writecmv at hotmail.com or respond with a text or video response wherever you watch this clip. Also, if you have a topic that you'd like to be shared on the show, please let me know. My thoughts on the matter of why Jesus seemed vague is because God wants us to follow him out of the right motives. Maybe it is because if Jesus told us everything, some would turn to him because they are compelled, not because they choose to. The Bible says that people's hearts have become callous. God is after our hearts. He wants us to accept him out of our own free will. Just like when Jesus was on the cross and could have called down angels at any time to rescue him, not only would that change God's plan, but it would also take the choice away from the people. If they were to actually see Jesus being what we would consider God-like, there'd be no chance of denying him. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to respond and be sure to join me next time for another episode of Search With Me.